Hey guys, Dan Hood Big DH2000 here. Um, when I came back from the Alabama Catapult Carnival, I uh, had a whole bunch of naturals in my uh, bag, box if you will. I believe Robert brought a bunch of them and he just had them in buckets right there and you could pick what you want. This is a two-toned oak. At first I thought it was uh, red oak, but it's actually, I think it's just regular oak or bog oak as some people call it. And what ends up happening is whenever you get, this, this was a lot bigger branch when I started and I took it down. So it was the main branch and this was the, the side branch. When you get offshoots on this, they tend to be the white wood that changes to red with age. Um, just the way it is, uh, anyway, so you got, you get this two-faced look. You can see the dark and the light on one side. You see a dark one, light one. It's kind of down the middle, but you can't quite see it. But anyway, makes for a real nice hold for me. I'm sure there's people would like to hold it like this. You can also hold it like this with the forks forks leaning forward a bit but as you can see it's got an interesting thing which is why I didn't flat top it because when you flat top a natty that's got forks that are wobbling all over the place it it doesn't shoot as well because the, the flat top you have one fork further forward than the other doesn't work but if you go with the 90s everything's a little bit different and a little bit off and it actually gets it a whole lot closer to in a straight line and that's kind of what I did. I went up the forks till I looked across and I could kind of see a straight line. And then I cut them. And I went 90 to each thing. So it's fun. It'll probably, it'll shoot very well. And um, I don't know, I kept it, kept this a little shorter, cut it a little shorter than normal. Keep it tucked up in the hand so it's not too long and too out of the way. Anyway, thought you guys would like it.